Hello everyone, this is Dan from Design Plus Code and today I'm going to show you how to add Lori animated icons or illustrations to Webflow. So let's begin. So let's begin in Shape.so. Over there we can choose different type of animated illustrations. So I'll pick this animated illustration, then I'll go to Preview. I can change its color, we'll choose blue, and then I'll hit Download. Perfect. Now let's go to Webflow. And over here you will find our empty project. So if you would like to know more about Webflow, you can go to designcode.io slash Webflow. And over there we have a free course. So you can learn how to create your own website from scratch. Okay, let's continue. So what we need to do now is to add a section inside our body. And then inside our section, we need to add a div block. So our idea is to put the Lottie animation inside the div block. So let me show you how. I will double click on the section, then inside the section, I will add a div. So double click again, and I make sure that the div is inside the section. Okay, then I will create a new class and I will name it Lori Animation. Perfect. Next, I need to resize the div. So I will resize it to 600 by 600. What we will do next is to change the background color of our div. So let's scroll down a little bit and let's click on color and let's paste this code. I already test the color, so I think it will combine well with our illustration. Now let's change the border radius of our div to 20. To center our div, we can click on section, and over there, we can select flex, then align and justify. And we can change its top margin to 140. Now let's add our Lottie animation. So let's select our div, let's click on the plus icon, and over there you will find the Lottie animation. Let's double click, and voila. Now. Let's go to Assets, and we just need to drag and drop our JSON file. Boom, there you go. So the next thing we need to do is to select our Lottie sequence. So let's click on Replace Lottie Sequence, and select our asset. Boom, there you go. Now that we have our animation, so let's center it. And let's do the same process as we did for Section. So let's select the div, then let's go to Flex, then Align, and Justify. Okay, good. Now, if you want, you just can publish your site and the animation will work. But we will add a small detail. We will add a hover over. So every time that we'll put the mouse over the animation, the animation will start working. And every time we'll take out the mouse, the animation will stop working. So let's make sure that we still own the div called Lottie Animation. And over there, let's go to Interactions. It's the icon with the thunder. Let's click over there and let's hit on the plus icon. Now we can choose mouse hover and on action, we can select start an animation. Okay, good. Now let's click again on the plus icon and over there we need to name our action. So we can call it in because it will be an in and out interaction. And let's go back to our navigator and let's choose our Lottie animation. So let's make sure you're selecting that asset. And over here, we hit on the plus icon and then we can choose Lottie. So we can start adding some animations. But before that, make sure you're turning on the switch on set as initial state on timing. Okay, perfect. Now let's hover on end and let's click over there and you will see different options. So let's choose Lottie. Once we will click Lottie, a new set of settings will appear. So let's go to the bottom and let's change 0 for 99. And you can give a duration of 4 seconds. Okay, good. Now we need to do the same process, but for the hover out animation. To do so, Let's make sure that you're selecting the div block and over there in the section where it says on hover out, you need to select a new action. So click on action and select start an animation. Perfect. Now hit the plus icon and you can name it out because it will be our hover out animation. Good. Now let's go back to our navigator and over there, let's choose again our Lottie asset. So once you will select the Lottie asset, go back to animations and over there hit the plus icon. Then choose Lottie again. And let's go to the bottom and let's change 0 for 99. And a duration of 0 seconds. Perfect. Then let's go back to actions and click on the plus icon and then choose Lottie. And also let's put a duration of 0 seconds. Sweet. Now, let's close everything and let's see our animation. Let's click on the eye icon and voila, there you go. 
So if you can see, every time that we will hover over our animation, the animation will start. But once we will take out the mouse, so the animation will stop. And you can keep playing like that. So that's the way you can add any animated illustration or icon to Webflow. So if you guys like the video, please give us the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any comments or questions, please put it in the comment section. I will see you in the next one. Bye.